Well, tonight it's an emotional evening in Charlotte's South Park community to honor the brave and remember the fallen. Today marks one week since a five alarm fire sparked a massive mission to save the workers inside a construction site. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for your news at 10. I'm Alicia Barnes. 175 men and women rushed into that burning building, saving 15 people. But sadly, two lives were lost that day. Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce joining us live from the site of the fire tonight. Daniel, those first responders and the victims were honored tonight. That's right. I mean, here we are. We're seven days after the fact. You still see the charred remains of the crane behind me. But tonight, that is whenever the South Park community, they came together. They showed love for those first responders and support for the families of the two men who didn't come home. That we can all sit quietly for a moment and have a moment of silence in recognition of Mr. Holmes and Mr. Cheryl. Bowed heads heavy hearts, a time for South Park community to reflect on one of its darkest chapters. An incredibly difficult moment of silence for the fiance of construction worker, DeMonte Sherrill. He and his coworker, Ruben Holmes, became trapped and never made it out. Mr. Holmes was someone that was really recovering in his life. He was taking that second chance. The pair's boss, Keith Suggs, also speaking to the media at Thursday's memorial about the magnitude of the loss of DeMonte. He was going to be a great worker. He just wanted to take care of his kids. And Ruben. I, I don't even think he can ever be replaced. Amidst the heartache, heroics. First responder. This sea of cheers is just for a handful of the firefighters, medics, and law enforcement officers honored Thursday evening. We're here so that if someone has a bad day at work, we can be there for them. When we're there doing our jobs, we're working there with our brothers and sisters. And every time one of them go in, we're still worried about them. Charlotte Battalion Chief Timothy Brown and his team are being gifted with more than cheers, but messages written on a sign from community members and those whose loved ones they saved. They, they were doing their job. And that, that came first. You know, I think feel something, continue to feel something deep down inside about what we saw that day. Messages not just for the firefighters of May 18th, but for those who suit up down the line. People need to realize that we're always working. You know, we're always working. This fire is still under investigation. As for the banner, I'm told that uh, an exact site has not been decided upon, but wherever it is, it's going to be a place that every single fire hero is going to be able to see it. Live in South Park, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News.